Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are back with another FIFA World Cup uh, 2018 DLC playthrough on FIFA 18. Today we're going to be doing Colombia because I just felt like it. I just felt like doing Colombia, and I know they've got a decent squad. But before we start, we have to randomise the groups. So in 3, 2, 1, boom, and Colombia have got the Czech Republic, Senegal, and the USA. That shouldn't be too hard for Colombia, but you never know. So before we start this run with Colombia, let's have a look at the squad. And there's a few players that I do recognise in the squad. A lot of noteworthy names, so let's go through them. We've got Falcao, obviously. We've got... Quintero, we've got Rodriguez, Cordrado, we've got Sanchez who plays for, well at the time he played for Aston Villa I believe, and then we've got uh, Davison Sanchez who plays for Tottenham, we've got Yari Mina who currently plays for Everton, we've got Spina who used to play for Arsenal, we've got Carlos Baca, Luis Muriel, Escudero who used to play for Brighton, Jefferson Lerma, there's some really good players here, Zapata as well, and uh, just so many decent players here for Colombia. So let's jump into our first match against the United States. And as always, it's on legendary difficulty, the best way to play. First match then, Colombia versus the United States. Colombia should be a very pacey side with Cuadrado and, um, you know, Muriel. And, they're, you know, they're just fast. If you've ever played Ultimate Team or actually even watched these players in real life, you'd know that they're very pacey players. Into the middle and Pulisic is going behind and almost scores the first goal of the game in the third minute. That's a bit concerning how we defensively lapsed like that. Through ball here to Falcao. That's a brilliant ball though. Can we get the strike off? No, we can here comes Quintero, goes to the strike, it is blocked. Into the middle, oh, we just got it scooped away. That would have been a great goal to start this campaign off. Quintero to cross it in. It's Cuadrado, and oh, the sliding tackle took it away from the goalkeeper, and it's a corner to Colombia again. Sanchez out on the wing. I remember Sanchez when he used to play for Villa. Um, because his ultimate team card used to be ridiculously strong. Good cross into the box. Header! And yes! Who was that? I think it was Hamas Rodriguez that scored that one. Yes, it was. Great header. And um, a great cross as well from Sanchez. Great battling out on the wing there. And then we crossed it in. Great cross. And then what a header. It's half time. And it is a 1-0 to Colombia. Thanks to Hamas Rodriguez header. And um, we've done really well so far. Loses his man there. Great play. Crossed in. Can we get the header off? We can. And how did that go in? Honestly, what was Tim Howard doing? I saw it coming from a mile away. And Carlos Sanchez scores to make it 2-0. And I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. How are you not reaching that? That was poor goalkeeping. And poor defending as well. That header wasn't even that great either. It was just bouncing. And the USA are 2-0 down. Dempsey, oh my god, he's just done me dirty there and he scores. My poor defending let me down and Dempsey did some, well, he just did a couple of ball rolls and I missed both of them, look. Just, <laughs> he absolutely had me and yeah, nice one. Okay, 2-1. He's still got it here. Can he make anything happen? It's punched away. Here comes Colombia. Sanchez, oh, ho, ho. imagine if I actually scored that. Lerma, back to Falcao. Out to was Cuadrado, shot again, and we scored with Escudero, I believe, and that is 3-1. We're just putting on far too much pressure for the US, and yeah, really good game so far. I'm really happy with Colombia, really happy. They're very speedy and really good on the ball. They are quality side. It's a corner to the USA, and Tim Howard is up for it. This keeps happening every time when I'm like two goals up. They'll like send their goalkeeper out. And, um, yeah, now Tim Howard is scrambling to get back. You ain't going to get back, dude. Fou well, this is Muriel. Look at Muriel go. He goes for the strike, and that's not a good strike, unfortunately. And that's it. Colombia have beaten the United States 3-1, and that was a really nice result for Colombia. This team is very speedy. They've got good attackers as well. I mean, 
uh, if I can really get this team going, I think we can go deep into this World Cup. So what happened between Senegal and the Czech Republic? Senegal won 2-0. Okay, cool. So I think Senegal are going to be the ones to watch out for in this group. Colombia versus the Czech Republic. Hopefully this won't be too much of a problem. Through ball to Falcao. Can Falcao get his first goal of the campaign? He gets taken out of the box and that's going to be a penalty for Colombia. Bit of a needless challenge. I think he might have just missed it or something. I'm not sure. I mean, when Falcao sped past him there, he tried to get the ball but just got Falcao instead. He has the chance to get his first goal at the World Cup and he is saved. Okay, well, he bowled the penalty, but that's fine. This might be a harder game than I thought. It might be just like the United States game where we are slow to start out. Because the Czechs, oh, again. Okay, I've definitely underestimated this side, 100%. Sanchez, Cuadrado's there. Can he find anybody into the middle here? Falcao, he goes for the strike. Oh my God, how are you missing? Falcao, he turns, he shoots, and it's not scored again. I mean, his shots have just not been good enough. We haven't been that impressive, I'm going to say it. We haven't really been that dialed in and um, Falcao hasn't hit his shots, which is super frustrating as we go into half time because Czech Republic have already lost against Senegal and now they're holding us here. We have such a great team. We shouldn't be like struggling this hard. Czech Republic, go for it. Off the bar. Are you kidding me? No. Oh my god, I couldn't tackle him and he scored! Oh, Colombia, what are we doing? What are we doing? And this guy, I don't even know who he is. I don't even know who he is. I, I, someone can tell me, I'm not sure who he is, but it's 1 0. Good through ball, but it's going to be offside and that shot was poor. Something needs to change about this squad. Really does, and I'm going to throw on some attacking players because. Honestly, these group of players just haven't been good enough. Into the Oh, okay, it's going to be a free kick to Colombia on the edge of the box. Falcao to take it, but I'm going to lay it off to Cuadrado. Goes for it. Oh, oh yes, we scored. It, like I thought the goalkeeper saved it, but it deflected it into the back of the net. And Cuadrado has saved us. And it's 1-1. I went for the strike here, and the goalkeeper saved it, but unfortunately... It went into the back of the net anyway. A bit too much power on it, perhaps? Look at this. So unfortunate for the Czech Republic. Cuadrado. Go on, Falcao. Oh, just missed it. Jesus. How many times do we have to shoot with Falcao? And he just cannot score. This is... Oh, my God. It's frustration. They got a point out of us. That's so frustrating how we drop points against them. USA beat Senegal as well. So the group is super close now. Um, look at that. Four points for Colombia, three for the United States, uh, three for Senegal and one for the Czech Republic. This isn't going to be an easy match either. Senegal are basically just like us in terms of they're fast and they've got decent defenders as well. It's going to be a very tight matchup. Uh, it's blocked and it's just oh, super annoying man. It's funny because like we were just so good against the United States and then to really played so poorly against the Czech Republic. Falcao on the ball. This is your chance to show that you deserve a place in this squad, Falcao. Uribe, he's got it. Cross that in. Go for the header, Falcao. Oh, off the bar, unlucky. Back in there. Oh, double save by the Senegalese keeper. Oh my God, what has Falcao got to do to score, dude? Oh, this is just so poor from Colombia. Sadio Mane, just wide. Oh, I can't believe how far Colombia have fallen off since the uh, USA match. Like, I mean, yeah, that was obviously not a goal. It didn't even get anywhere remotely close to the line. Okay, a draw is enough for Colombia to go through. But at the same time, I just don't want to um, bottle this. I really don't. Uribe to Arias. Can Arias get a shot off? He can, but oh, it tested the Senegalese keeper. Falcao crossed in. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Yes! 1-0 to Colombia and James Rodriguez scores the header. And finally, Falcao does something useful, man. Like, he puts in a brilliant ball to make it 1-0. Look, turn around here. What a ball that was and what a header by James Rodriguez. Crossed in by Senegal. Headed. 
Missed the header and it went in. It went in. And I'm fairly sure that was Juve that scored. Yeah, it was. It was Juve. How did the goalkeeper not actually save it properly? And Senegal are back on terms and it's 1-1. Literally, our lead lasted for about five minutes. Crossed in, bad header, and then poor header by the Colombian defence. Like, what are we doing on this kind of, like, play? Good strike by... Um, Mami Juve. It's so frustrating how the stamina goes down so quickly that um, we'll put on Muriel for Falcao. Falcao has only made one assist. I want more up front from this team. Into the middle. Good play. Very good play. Look at this. And oh my, oh my god, dude. That should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. How many times do we miss chances like that? Kanate. Through ball. Balde and he scores. Excellent. Thanks for that, Colombia. How do you bottle this? How? How do you bottle this? Oh my god, I am so in the mud right now. I really am in the mud. How on earth did we bottle this? That is disgraceful. The reason why we couldn't deal with this is because our defence just collapsed at the end. It just absolutely collapsed. The pressure was too much, and um, unfortunately, you get that. Go on. Yes! Come on! Yes! And that is 2-2. We've rescued it in the 94th minute, even though it was only supposed to be 93 minutes. And Colombia are going wild here. They've rescued their campaign from... Oh, we... Like, I thought we bottled it. Then I threw-balled it there, and I was like, surely... We've scored this one, and we have. Look at that. I thought I was going to get tackled as well, but I think Koulibaly missed his tackle. And that's it. What a finish to this group stage. Colombia take this one. Well, not take it, but they draw, and they go through on this result. So, I go through with five points. Um, Senegal went through as well because of goal difference, and that means we have a tie against Croatia now. And um, this is what your knockout stages are looking like then. So we've got Argentina beating Austria 2-1. Spain beating Scotland 3-1. Then obviously Colombia versus Croatia. Brazil versus Iran. We've got Mexico beating England 3-2. Switzerland beating Germany 2-1. We've got Portugal versus Senegal. And Egypt versus Italy. Round the 16 match and it is a crucial run. It's against Croatia. We haven't played Croatia too many times on this DLC. But... As we all know back in 2018, this is one of the best versions of Croatia. We have the chance now to extend our run. We still have Falcao up front despite him not scoring any goals. I'm hoping he can turn his form around. Because it just seems like we just got the Man United form, uh, Falcao. And I just don't want that. In the middle here to Falcao. Turn, shoot. Oh, off the bar. That's the closest he's come to scoring. Look at Modric. Dancing past my defence. Look at him go. And we just managed to stop him overhead from Croatia. But it was offside. Crossed in. Header by Falcao. Oh, again. I mean, he's coming close in this game. Maybe he can come up big in this situation against Croatia. It's crossed in again. And how did we score? I, don't, I, don't, I just don't understand how we scored. And it's 1-0. Davison Sanchez, the defender, scoring that one. And um, you love to see it, really. I mean, I, 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 I want to know how I scored because honestly, it just felt like, oh, okay, it just came to him, and I, I just shot. Okay, well, I was intending to go for a header, but um, I'm guessing it was like a delayed reaction because Perisic. There's only one defender back. What can we do? That was an excellent ball into the box, but thankfully we stopped it. It's half time and we are leading 1 0 thanks to Davison Sanchez. This is always going to be a tough match against one of the best teams at this tournament. And um, yeah, we're doing well so far. Just please don't throw it away. Into the middle. Falcao turns. He fires it. That is beautiful. Finally, Falcao scores. And that is 2-0 to Colombia. And look what it means to him. Finally, he gets his goal. He's been criticised by me throughout this whole entire uh, video, I'd say. Especially in the Czech Republic and um, Senegal match. But finally, he gets a goal here. And it was a beautiful finesse shot. And it's 2-0 against Croatia. We've been really good here against Croatia. We've 
controlled most of the plays defensively to stop them from going through. And um, yeah, it's just been a top performance by Colombia. Maybe the Senegal draw woke us up a little bit because obviously that result could have gone really bad. Corner to Croatia in the last two minutes of the game. Can we stop them from scoring and keep a clean sheet? Goalkeeper's got it. Come on. Come on. We can we can get out of field. Come on. Keep going. Keep going, goalkeeper. Blast it. Go on. Oh, it went straight to the goalkeeper somehow. That's really annoying. I wanted to try and lob him, but no. But at least we got the win, and that's all that matters. And we're going to the quarterfinals with... Colombia beating Croatia, you know, a really good team back then, you know, in 2018, their golden generation. So who got through between Brazil and Iran? It was Brazil. Only just though, it was only 2-1. Portugal beat Senegal 4-0 and Italy beat Egypt 2-1. We have a South American rivalry to look forward to here. Colombia versus Brazil and a rematch of the quarterfinals in the 2014 World Cup. Obviously, Brazil won that fixture. But Colombia were excellent in 2014. Let's see if they can go one step further in this one and beat their rivals, Brazil. Neymar to whip this in. Good cross, headed out though. Colombia need to be strong in this one defensively. And we need to hit Brazil on the brakes whenever possible. Out to this guy here. Falcao! Oh, that was unlucky. Allison picks that one up. Oh, ball won't be there. Good save. Stop him. Oh, yes. Nice one. Get rid of it, please. No. Oh, what a save again. Knocking the ball around so well. It's just hard to deal with something like this. Look at this. Get in front of that. No. And Brazil has scored. And it was number 11. Was it Coutinho that scored? I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it was. Phil Coutinho scored to make it 1-0. We just couldn't stop him. It's just so annoying when you can't stop a team like Brazil from scoring like that. Look, I can't even tackle Brazil. Fabinho, he goes for it just over the bar. It's half time and uh, we are trailing Brazil only by one goal. And um, we just really need to try and get an attack going. Over the top to Rodriguez. He's got it. Come on. Get a good ball in. Crossed in. Falcao, yes! It's 1-1. Nice one. Falcao comes up big against Brazil. Great cross by Rodriguez. Obviously... Uh, paying him back for the assist he gave him against, uh, what was it, like Croatia or someone? Or Senegal? I can't remember. But yeah, great ball, great goal. Over the top of Casemiro there. Go on, Quadrado. Oh, I thought I scored. Honestly, it like nestled into like the back of the stands there. So well, I actually thought we put it into the back of the net. Here we go, Alexandro is running through. Bit of empty spaces in the box. Come on, get in front of that please, yes. No, oh, they missed it. Thank God for that because the goalkeeper was on the floor. Crossed in by Brazil, oh, they went for the overhead. Paulinho has got it. In, oh, off the post. Oh, unlucky for Brazil, but very fortunate for us. Rodriguez goes for the strike and Alisson picks it up and that is going to be... Extra time. As we keep going into this game, our pace is not going to matter anymore because obviously the stamina is dropping so much. Because William, a fully like fit William, and what a block by the defender. Oh, I think Thiago Silva could have scored that one. I mean, look how close this was, but the defender just got in front of it. It's going to penalties then. As I expected, these two are going to penalties. So, yeah, come on, Colombia. It's 50-50 time now. And Falcao steps up for the first penalty for Colombia. Let's see if we can score here. Falcao going to go to the right. And Alisson saves it. Again, Falcao cannot score a penalty. That's twice he's taken a penalty in this run and cannot finish it. Paulinho. Off the bar. Okay, that was a poor penalty as well. Okay, Hamas Rodriguez now. Can he score his penalty? Can he do it? Boom, yes, into the roof of the net. Rodriguez scores and it's 1-0 on penalties. Roberto Firmino now. Step back quite a way back. And he's going to put it to the left, I reckon. Yes, nice one, we saved it. Ospina saves. Okay, Luis Muriel now. What can he do on this one? 
I think I put... Oh, that was a week. That was so bad. What was I doing? My finger slipped on that one. That was so dumb. Okay, Thiago Silva. And yes, we saved it. We saved it again. All right, okay, Arebe now. Come on. Come on. Yes, nice one. And now we just got to save another penalty, and it's William. Brazil's penalties here have been so bad. I mean, mine have been, not been great either, but Brazil, oh, they scored. Okay, well, finally they did, and now it's Colombia's chance to try and go through here. Let's see what we can do. This is going top corner. Yes, we did it. Nice, we beat Brazil on penalties, and we're going to the semi-finals. How about that? How about that? I mean, that penalty was so lucky, because it hit the bar and came down back into the net. And yes, yeah, semi-finals for Colombia. You know, despite Brazil having more shots than us, um, well, yeah, we still came out on top on that one. So we got Colombia next, and on the other side, we've got Mexico versus Portugal. I can't believe we survived that Brazilian onslaught. And we got Argentina now, another South American rival to try and contend with. Not as hard as Brazil, but still a hard team. Falcao on the ball. Over the top. Can we get there? We have. A miss header. Into the middle. Falcao! Yes! We scored somehow! And that's 1-0 in the 10th minute. Colombia, bright start here. Finally, Falcao has his shooting boots on. He scored in the last three games. Not Still not very good at penalties, but it doesn't matter. From Colombia here. Come on. Austin is headed, and that's a goal again. That is 2-0 in the semi-final against Argentina. What are Colombia doing to me, honestly? This is an outstanding start. 15 minutes in, we're two goals up. I mean, that guy there in the middle there, uh, I think it was Uribe who scored. That was such a good header. No, it was Quintero, sorry. I thought it was Uribe, but it was Quintero. Oh, what? He just put it through my goalkeeper's legs. I didn't even think anything of it. And who scored that? Number 33. I don't recognise that player somehow. But he just put it through my goalkeeper's legs on a slide tackle shot. Through ball here. And he just put it through my goalkeeper's legs. How? How do you even do that? And um, it was Crane Vitter who scores. I've never heard of that guy. Thinking about it actually just now, Colombia haven't reached... Um, 2022 World Cup have they? They didn't qualify. So th yeah, they're not going to be in this one. So quite strange not to see Colombia at a World Cup. It's half time and it is 2-1 to Colombia though. And um, we're looking to win this now. Falcao. Oh, just wide again from the Colombian striker. Oh, if Falcao scored there, that would have been game over to Muriel. He's surely got to have the pace over Otamendi at this stage of the game. Crossed in. Oh, it's pushed away. And I think that's going to be it. Colombia have reached the World Cup final. And how about that? What a run it's been with them. And we've just got one more game. And we can potentially take it all. So it is Mexico in the final. And Argentina won in the third place playoff. So we've got Mexico in the World Cup final. Here we are then. The stage is set. Colombia versus Mexico in the World Cup final in the 2018 World Cup. I mean, imagine if these two reached the World Cup final. That would be an incredible World Cup final. But yeah, no, we've done so well. All the big teams fell by the wayside and um, now these two have to duke it out for that trophy. No going back now for Colombia. If we fail here, we fail forever. Through ball here. It's Falcao. Oh, that was such a poor shot. I shouldn't have shot from that angle. There are men in the box. Can you find them? Crossed in. It's shot. Oh, what a save by Ochoa. James Rodriguez could have put his nation 1-0 up in the final, but Ochoa stops him. That volley as well was definitely not, you know, the softest thing in the world. It was actually, you know, really hard hit. So it's half time and it's still nil nil, surprisingly, because I've had a lot of shots in that first half. Should be at least one nil up. Good through ball. Another one. Come on, Falcao. You're basically through, right? No, that was a hell of a tackle by the Mexican defence. I couldn't sidestep it either. Come Mexico. Looking dangerous. Good block, but they still have it. 
and is deflected wide for a corner. We can get the substitute on now. Quintero is coming off because he's just tired, not offering too much. Crossed in. Mexico still got it. Still have it. Get in front of them. Please. Oh my god. Like how many times did I try and tackle them there and it just didn't work. It's got the pace. Turns inside. Goes for it. Good save. Cordrado. Yes, we scored. Oh, but it's going to be offside. I think it is offside. Oh, I thought I'd taken the lead. No. No. Oh, my God. They scored. They scored. Terrible defending. And Mexico are taking the lead despite having hardly any chances. This is dreadful. This is the Colombia we saw on the group stage. And now Mexico are 1-0 up. Out to Cuadrado. It's Falcao. Yes! We scored. It's 1-1. And we kind of cheesed that goal to be fair. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're back in it. And Falcao could be the hero of Colombia. Despite having a poor start to the World Cup. He's picked up his form. He's got his goal scoring boots on. And um, yeah. Great pass into the box here by Cuadrado. Turned around. Shot quickly. And it worked out in our favour. Go on, Arebe. Go on. Oh, I couldn't shoot. Please, just shoot when I tell you to. I just wanted a quick snapshot or something. Through ball to Rodriguez. Can he be the hero? He goes for it. Oh my God, how are you missing that, dude? Oh, just oh, it's so frustrating to miss chance after chance after chance. It's so frustrating to um, still be lot level despite the chances we've had in this final. Honestly, we should be winning this. Look at that. Eight shots to three. Should be winning. 100%. And now these players are getting tired. This is the game that Mexico are playing right now. Carlos Sanchez. We're going to go for it. Oh, saved by Ochoa. I thought I lobbed him there. Oh, that is just poor, man. Like, some of these passing plays and everything. It's just so garbage. Escudero coming on. And Carlos Baca is coming on for Cordrado. We have to do this. I don't want to go to penalties and bottle it against Mexico. Escudero. Go on. Escudero. Oh. Over the top. We got there. Oh, it had to be Falcao, didn't it? With the worst touch in the world. And it's going to go to penalties, isn't it? It is going to go to penalties. Yeah. Oh, my God. If we lose this, then I have fully blown it. Fully blown it. Because how have Mexico managed to survive this? Let's see how many shots. 11 to 3. How are we still locked at 1-1 in the final? Okay, well it's going to have to be penalties then. Falcao to take this penalty. Please, please. You've got to score this. No, he is terrible at penalties. He is absolutely shocking. Jimenez now with the penalty. And we saved that one. Nice one. Okay, we're still level. Carlos Baca now. Can we score this? No. I put it to the left and it went to the middle. Like, sort of like middle left, if you know what I mean. So dumb. And now they scored. Okay, Mexico are leading in the final. Luis Muriel now. Please, can we score? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, we've blown it, guys. We have blown it. 11 shots to 3 in the final, and Mexico are going to win this, I reckon. They're absolutely going to win this. Yes, we saved it with our legs somehow. Dived the wrong way, but our trailing legs stopped it. Okay, come on, man. Please, don't... Please, we just need to score. Yes, finally we scored. Okay, so we're somehow level on penalties. Somehow. Carlos Vea now. He hits the post. Okay. All right, so it's the defender now. Can he score the penalty? Boom! Off the bar! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible, man. Here comes Corona. Alright, here we go then. Let's lose this final. Yeah, we lost it. Thank you, Colombia, for one of the worst final performances I've ever seen. I can't believe we blew that final. 11 shots to 3. The penalty shootout was horrendous as well by Colombia. And Mexico have won the World Cup because of it. How did Mexico shithouse that final so hard? Like, they were so bad, and yet they still won that final. That is mind-blowing how Colombia...
did not win that final. They had the chances, but they just weren't falling in. And it's just so frustrating to lose like that. But I guess it's still good for Colombia to reach a final. Um, one of these teams had to win it, so I guess... If you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Enjoy the celebrations if you're a Mexican fan or whatever. And um, yeah, keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video. Green shirts of Mexico have been a, a dominant theme over the last few weeks. And now it's the golden prize. World champions. Incredibly so. Mexico. And a new name on the trophy. Who would have thought that coming into this tournament? Maybe not those players. Sharing it with the supporters. And they'll know where their families are as well. They will not want this day to end. But they will get some souvenirs of it now as the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018.